we have two sections to cover today, 1.3 integer in exponent and 1.4 polynomials basic operations. Now integer exponents and in section 1.3 we will see integer exponents and scientific notation. Okay, integer exponents. Okay, when we say integer, okay, you remember these numbers: minus negative three, negative two, one, okay, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, these are the integers. Okay, remember them. And the exponents. Uh, when we say exponent in Arabic, it's us. Okay, al us. I guess us. I don't know. Yeah, something like this. Anyway. Um, Natural number exponents, okay, natural numbers, as you remember, they are 0, 1, 2, 3, no, it's 1, 2, 3, and so on. It's the counting numbers here, the ex natural numbers. Okay, we will see what does uh, a natural exponent mean now. Okay, if A is a real number, okay, it can be any real number at most of the time, it's, we will take them positive numbers, but uh, it can be any real number. If n is a natural number, then we define a to the nth as the product of a uh, with itself n times. So when we say a to the n, you will understand it's a times a times a times a uh, n times. So we read this one, a to the n, as a raised to the nth power, or we say the nth power of a. Uh, here, the number a is called the base, uh, base, I think, sus, and the exponent n here is called us. So uh, let's look at this. Examples 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. 1 over 2 squared is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 over 4. Okay, there's uh, this warning here. The warning says you have to be careful when you see this one and uh, this one. They're different. They represent different operations. Okay, let's see. Uh, negative 3 squared, when you see this type of thing, it means like negative, negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. Okay, negative times negative makes positive, so you don't see negative. But when you come to here, this negative 3 squared, you don't see parentheses, so it means 3 squared is 9 itself, so negative becomes Negative makes it, uh, negative sign makes it negative 9. Uh, some special powers, we have uh, some spe uh, special sayings for uh, some uh, powers. So look at them. So we say a to the first power. So we read it as a to the first power is equal to a. So when we read it, so this we can say a squared, or you can say a to the second power or third power. Uh, yeah, a second power. And a cubed, we say a cubed, or we say a to the third power. And in general, we say a to the nth power or a to the nth. Sometimes we don't read power, or sometimes we say nth power of a. So we can use this one. Now let's look at the negative integer exponent. Uh, okay, assume a is non-zero real number. A is a non-zero real number, and natural n is a natural number. So we define a to the negative nth power as the reciprocal of a to the n. So as you see, a to the negative nth power is equal to 1 over a to the n. So a to the negative nth is read as a to the negative nth power. Okay, an example, 5 to the negative second power is 1 over 5 squared. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's look at some other. Okay, let's concentrate on reading those. So a to the negative first power, or we say the reciprocal of a. This one is reciprocal a. This is uh, a to the negative first power. A to the negative seven, second power is equal to the reciprocal of a squared. And uh, this is we write we say a to the negative sec, uh, third power. And here, a to the negative n power. So we can say n, or we can also put some power here. Okay, let's look at this example. Uh, it says evaluate each of the following expressions. Evaluate means find the value. The va value means climate. 
uh, we will evaluate these. Now, obviously, in the first one, by the definition of negative power, it's 1 over 3. And when we look at the second one, okay, so negative comes here. Okay, negative does not affect it, so it stays here. We have to calculate only this one, and this one is equal to, you know, by the definition of negative power, we have 1 over 3 squared, and it will be negative 1 over 9. And when it comes to this one, okay, uh, we have to, okay, it will be equal to 27 or 3 cubed. So let me explain how it's go, uh, how we found it. So it's, uh, this one is by definition, it's 1 over, 1 over 3, okay, 1 over 3 cubed. So here you can take it as like 1, this one divided by uh, 1 over 3 cubed. So as you see here, this one. And then uh, you can write this one as a fraction, 1 over 1, and then divide it by 1 over 3 cubed. And if we have a division of uh, fractions, then we, you know, flip the second one. It will be 3 cubed over 1. So when you multiply them, you got this one, which is 27. Okay, here if you have a number divided by a fraction, you can always write it this way, and it's easy to um see the things here see the calculations like you will not forget sometimes uh is some easy ways uh, there are easy ways of seeing one thing okay now let's look at d uh okay when we look at d we write this one as uh one over uh, negative three to the fourth now, uh, you can use this shortcut here. It's the same uh, logic as before. So 1 divided by A over B is equal to 1 over 1 times B over A. So it will be uh, B over A. This is explaining the logic here. Okay. One tick. So uh, by doing this, it means uh, we will flip this one. When you flip this one, you will get negative uh, 1 over 3, uh, negative uh, 3 to the 4th power divided by 1, so which gives you uh, negative 3 to the 4th, and which makes 81. Okay, when you do this, you will get like uh, 4 times negative and by itself, so it will be positive, so 3 to the 4th, it's 81, so you will get positive 81. Now, uh, we will do some exercises. It will be try and check. So please stop the video and try to do it by yourself. Uh, I will try to uh, give just the answers uh, the, for the easy ones. Now look at here. So look at this one. Okay, here are the, okay. Here are all of them. So this one here, two divided negative two divided by sixteen. It's negative one over eight. And for those, okay, I want to explain it to you. This is three over. Uh, 1 over 25, okay. Now you can use this logic here. 3 divided by 1 over 25 uh, is equal to 3 over 1 times 25 over 1, which is equal to 75. So this is the answer. And for this one, you can do the same thing, but here, this one will give you 1 over 8 over 25, 125. So then you can use the same logic. It will be equal to negative uh, 375. And here, if you use the same logic, uh, you will get uh, you will get a to one. Okay, I will not do this uh, calculations, but it's equal to a to one. Okay, zero exponent. Now, what happens if the exponent, if the power is zero? So the power zero, the zero power of any real number is equal to one. So except like we cannot take a to be zero, okay? A shouldn't be zero. So a to the zero is always one. Okay, let's look at some expressions with zero exponent. Three to the zero power, it's one. Negative three to the zero power. So in this case, divide it. Okay, we find this one, then put negative. 
So one over three to uh, zero power, and uh, which is one, and one over negative three to the zero power, which makes again one. Okay, this is one over one because it says non-zero number, so a can be negative number. So it's equal to one. Now rules of integer exponents. So we have some rules. Rule mean kaida. Okay, rule kaida. So let's look at the following rules about integer exponents. So we have some names for the rules and the rule itself, its expression, and one example, product of powers of common base. So if you have common base here, you know, SS, same. So when you multiply these two, you can add the powers. So you look at here two, negative five. So how does it make negative three? It will be two plus negative five makes negative three. So we use this rule here, okay? So a quotient of powers uh, with common base. Okay, look at here. It's a common base, a common, and this is a uh, division. So in this case, you subtract uh, m from n. So two to the uh, two squared divided by two to the negative fifth power. Um, when you divide them, you got seven. Why? Because it will be okay by this rule. It will be two to the two minus negative five. So which gives you two two plus five. So which makes two to seven. So as we see. Another rule is power of a product. So if you are taking a power of, of a product, this is called product, you multiply two numbers, so the result you say it's product. So you can separate them. Okay, you can separate and write them as a to the n times b to the n power. So look at here, this we have two times a cubed. So this is times here. So you separate them, two cubed, a cubed. So two cubed makes eight. So this is equal to 8 a cubed. Now power of power. Okay, so if you have a power of a number and then you're taking another power, so in this case, you multiply these two powers. So you got 2 to the second power times, uh, not times, okay, to the fifth, negative fifth power. So when you multiply them, 2 times negative 5, so it makes negative 10. So we have it here. Okay, the, the last rule is this rule. So the rule, uh, the power of a quotient or a, a fraction. So a over b to the nth is so you can distribute the power to the denominator and the numerator. It will be a to the n, b to the n. So look at here two. You distribute the power to the numerator and the denominator. It makes four over nine. Okay, let's do an example. Uh, let's apply the rules of, okay, apply means that big, okay, the rules of exponents to simplify expre expressions. Simplify means to make it simple. So, basit, you make it basit. Simplify the following expressions using properties of exponents and write your answers using a positive exponents only. So, this is the important part here. So, you pay attention to the uh, question or the directions of the question. Now, let's try to do this one. Uh, okay, these are all in uh, multiplication. So these are all multiplied with each other. So let's do A. In A, the first thing you can do is you can separate the variables. So you can separate these parts. Since they are uh, in multiplication, you know in multiplication, if you have this, you can separate them as you like. Okay, so this is one property of fractions. So by using this, we can say 20 over negative 5, 4 times x cubed over x. So y times y to the 4 divided by y squared. So, okay, if you don't see any power here, it's 1. Okay, you can take it as 1. And then we apply the rules. Okay, 20, by the way, 20 over negative 4 is, by the way, negative uh, 
5 for sure and then 3 1 so 3 minus 1 it makes 2 4 2 and it makes 2 we use this rule caution rule and we get the answer now let's look at the other question now the here now there are several ways to approach this one uh, one way is first you we distribute this inside by using the power rule then let's separate the variables so we can use this one okay it means like here okay now it means a comes to here a squared so when i say two here okay two comes here what about this three and two so you're taking indeed the square of b, b cubed and you're taking the square of c squared so the same thing applies to here you're taking the square of this square of this and the square of this now we use this rule next power of power so you multiply three and two you got six and c to the fourth it's this like two times two and a squared itself stays in here and a to the fifth squared so it will be 10 you know 5 2 2 2 4 so 3 2 6 and then the next thing is separate the variables so we can separate because this is multiplication here so multiple darp you know these are all darp so we can separate them then the next thing is you can use the quotient rule because the uh, bases are same bases are same so we use the quotient rule so it will be 2 minus 10, it will be 8, negative 8, 6 minus 2, 2, and then 4 minus 6, it will be negative 2. And are we done yet? No, because we have to write them in positive uh, powers. So how can I write this one in terms of positive numbers? So I will write this one as 1 over a to the 8. And then b squared okay it's okay no problem and but we have this negative power but we can write it as the reciprocal of c squared so when you do it so you can say this you can take this one as this fraction b squared over one so when you multiply all these numerators you got b squared and all these you got a to the eight times c squared now let's do the try and check problems uh we will do the simplification okay simplify the following expressions use the rules of exponents um, write your answer using positive exponents only so we will use write the answer uh, using positive exponents uh, positive exponents only so let's try to do it first let's deal with these okay now we'll put them here okay how five cubed x to the fourth cubed y cubed cubed divided by 15 squared and x squared and y to the fifth squared now let's deal with these okay now 5 cubed times x to the twelfth y to the ninth you know we multiply them power of power we multiply 15 squared then x squared then y to the tenth power so we can separate them 5 cubed 15 squared times x 12th x to the 12th x squared y to the ninth divided by y to the tenth so here 5 cubed okay i can try to you know write them as multiplication here and then 15 like 15 squared 15 times 15 so i can try to simplify it okay it will be one here it will be three here and it will be one here and it will be three here okay i will write it in the second line and here and here this one is x to the 12th tenth you understand 12 and 2 10 and times y okay now this makes a problem because we use x and you know times 
it's it's better we use dot. Okay, this becomes nine minus ten, so it becomes negative one. So here we have one over nine times x to the tenth times one over y, and then y to the negative first power, which is one over y. So it it makes it makes one. So you can write here x over one, x to the tenth over one. So it will be x to the tenth over nine. Why? So, which is the answer, final answer? So, it's all in positive exponents. Okay, so you can stop the video now and you can try to solve this example, I mean, the, the second part, and uh, you can compare your result or your solution with mine now. Okay, let's do part B. Okay, in part B, there is no power issue here, so you can directly separate the variables. Okay, x cubed over x to the fifth, and then y to the fifth divided by y cubed. So negative 1 over 3 here, so after the cancellation, you got this, and then you have x to the, okay, let's put dot here because we are using it will confuse this x and this times sign. So this will be x to the negative second power because 3 and 5, and now this becomes 2 because of these two. And then we end up with 1 over x squared, y squared. So you can take it as y squared over 1. So this will give you the answer y squared. Okay, negative y squared divided by 3x squared. Or you can say negative y squared over 3x squared. So this is the answer. Now we, okay, we do more here. Okay, please try to do it yourself first. Stop the video and try to do it, then check your solution. Uh, okay, I will show you quickly now. So we have some idea about the rules now. The only thing you have to do is, you know, try to memorize them and try to uh, apply it as much as possible. Do many exercises. Okay, as you see, three distributed, four distributed. Okay, we have them. And the power of power used for these. Okay. And then after this, we have all the powers of the variables. So we separate them. No, uh, first, okay, before separation, we have some same variables with different powers, so we add their powers, and then we, okay, now we have no repeated terms, we can separate the variables, and after separation, we can apply the power, apply the rule, the, the quotient rule, not the quotient rule, okay, the rule of quotient, and subtract the powers, top minus bottom, and then we end up there with this, x to the negative, so but we wanted positive exponent, so we write it as 1 over x, so this we end up with this answer. Okay, please uh, stop the video and try to do it by yourself. And now I will explain it to you. First, uh, this is a fraction. Okay, this is a fraction. You can you can do it in several ways. Uh, but okay, let, my plan is to deal with the inside first, then deal with the negative two later. Okay. Now the first thing you can do is like you can deal with this one a. A cubed divided by A to negative 2. You can separate them and you can write it this way. And B to the negative second power divided by B cubed. You can write it this way. And then what is this? It's A to the fifth. And this is this B to the negative fifth power. So you deal with this power here. You distribute. So when you use the distribute, you have to use the power rule here like A to the fifth like negative second power, like b to the negative fifth, and then negative second power, then you multiply them. 
you multiply them, you get this one. Are we done yet? No, we have this negative, so we can write it as, okay, you can write it as 1 over a to the 10 times b to the 10. So you can write it this way. So it has to be b to the 10th over a to 10. So this is the answer. Scientific notation. So a number can be written in scientific notation. A positive real number is written in scientific notation when it is written in the form a times 10 to the nth. So here the important thing is a should be between 1 and 10 and a can be also equal to 1. So n is an integer, so it might be 0, 1, negative 1. As you see, integers are, okay, let me remind you the integers. Integers are, we have, okay, all the numbers before, and then negative 3, negative 2, and then 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on. Now, here is a reminder for the powers of 10. Now, uh, a number can be written in many ways by shifting decimal point to the right or left. Okay, to right or left using the powers of 10, but it has only one scientific notation. Now, let's talk about the shifting issue here. Uh, if you have a point here, a decimal point, you can, okay, you can shift this point to the right and you can write it in terms of 165. So in this case, if you move the point to the right one digit, so you write 165, the new number, times uh, a power of 10. So 10 here is 10 to the negative first because you're, uh, you shifted the point to the right, only one unit. So the shifting rule is this. You move the point. And digits to the right, so then your it will be a number, so the new number times ten to negative n. If your the uh, your decimal point is here and you go this way. And digits. So then your number will be equal to the new number, okay, new number times 10 to plus n, okay, the nth power. So this is the shifting rule here. So let's look at here 16.5 and here 16.5 times 10 to the 0. So we put 0 because there is no shifting. But if you want to, you know, send the point here, then it will be 1.65 10 to the uh, first power. So because we move to uh, the decimal point to here, so it will be 10 to the first. Because it's from left to right, right to left, it will be 10 to the plus. Okay, it will be plus end. So 16.5 also can be written if you move like two units here. If you put the dot here, then you will move two units to the left. So you will have the new number with dot will be here. And there will be zero here and then 10 to the squared. But as you see, these are all same number, 16.5, but they're written in different with different powers of 10. But only one of them is the scientific notation of 16.5 because this number here has to be between 1 and 10. So 1.65 is between 1 and 10 only, so this is the scientific notation of 16.5. Now, let's write these numbers. So it's uh, if, if you don't see a dot here or a decimal point, so decimal point is definitely on the right and at the very end. So we want to move this point to somewhere here so that the end, the new number will be 2.95, which is uh, between 10 and 1, right? Okay, it's obviously bigger than 1, so no need to write this. So we can write, okay, the, the point goes from 
right to left. So how many? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will be 2.95 times 10 to the 8. And to here, we want to get the point up to somewhere here. Okay, up to a new number. So this new number will be always bigger than uh, or equal to 1 and less than 10. So your new number has to be always this new number here always between 1 and 10. So we end up here, the point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we come from left to right. So it will be 1.05. The new number times, since from left to right, we have 10 to negative 9 powers. OK, try and check. Okay, stop the video here and try to do it by yourself. Okay, stop the video and try to do it by yourself. But I will just directly give the answer here. So it will be 6.4 times 10 to, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, with 10 to the 6th. And now this will be up to, no, it will be between, okay, it, it will go up to here because 2 is between 1 and 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it will be equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 9 power. So you can rewrite them in decimal form. So when you write them, it will be like 10,000 times this. Obviously, the, the uh, dot will go this way. Now, we do the reverse. Or you can, you can write it this way and uh, try to guess what it is. So it's 10,000, like 10 to the fourth means like we have 10,000. Obviously, when you multiply, you will get 20,000 something. So 20,500 for sure. And in the same way, if you, if you multiply them, so this dot, okay, will go to this side. And like you can go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can put here zero, zero, zeros, and then dot, and then there's zero. So it will go. So this uh, thing is just the reverse of uh, uh, our process we did earlier. Okay, the try and check. Uh, you can you can do that. Okay, stop here and do it first. And then I will write the answer directly. It's one million five thousand, and uh, it will be four point one. Okay, this one. The dot was here, so six units. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so it will be. Okay, it will be this. <laughs> 